Hi, my name is Kara Jo Witkowski. I am a senior product manager in the Enterprise Solutions Group here at ALK. And I will be continuing the webinar with a live demo of PC Miler 27. Before starting the demo, I did want to point out that I will with all available add-on products included, of which may or may not be in what you decided to purchase in your license. So if you are interested in upgrading your license to include other add-on products, please contact PC Miler Sales for assistance. So let's get started with the demo. If you have used a previous version of PC Miler, taking a look at the screen, you will immediately notice significant changes when comparing the look and feel of this release to previous releases. In PC Miler 27, as Katie had mentioned, we've adopted the same ribbon pattern used throughout Microsoft Office and the Windows operating system. Introducing the ribbon allowed us to organize all features of the application in a better structure instead of using the older styled menus and toolbar interface used in previous PC Miler versions. We've kept the core workflow of PC Miler unchanged and have made features easier to find for new users while also keeping the application familiar for our longtime users. The ribbon is where it all starts and is found up at the top of the application window. We've grouped like features together and have categorized them under the routes, map, tools, window, route sync, and help categories. You'll also notice that each feature on the ribbon has its own descriptive icon. By rolling your mouse over an icon, you'll see a call out either naming the icon or also naming the icon and including its keyboard shortcut if one is available. Keyboard shortcuts are a great way to quickly gain access to features while minimizing your mouse clicks to get there. A list of shortcuts is provided in a feature reference guide included in your install, which, will, which I'll be showing you where you can find that guide later in the demo. Features on the ribbon can be added to a quick access toolbar by right-clicking on an icon and selecting Add to Quick Access Toolbar. The toolbar can be found up at the top of the application window here. Or the toolbar can be moved to below the ribbon by right-clicking in the top header and selecting Show Below the Ribbon. Features can be added or removed from the ribbon and the Quick Access Toolbar at your discretion. Below the main ribbon are the routes, reports, and map window. You now have the flexibility to select from a few workflow options to arrange open windows in a way that best suits your work needs. In the window ribbon, by selecting a layout option, the application will change the placement of the, the placement and location of each window. We've provided a few default layouts here. If you don't like the views we've provided, you can further customize the view by going into the Windows section and either selecting a window to display or deselecting it to hide from view. Another great feature is the ability to dock and undock windows from within the application. Docking is yet another way we've provided users to arrange windows in a way that best fits your workflow. By right-clicking in the title area of a window, you'll see the float and close options. Selecting float undocks the window and allows you to move the window around on your screen. If you have a connected monitor, you can move this window onto that connected monitor. By right-clicking in the top area of an undocked window and selecting Dock, we'll add it back to the main application window. 
You'll notice docking options are also available for the routes and reports windows. Now let's enter a route. In a route entry window located here, first select a routing type preference. The three main types are listed here. Practical represents distances and driving routes that a driver would normally take to minimize time and cost. Fastest uses PC Miler's time of day routing options in conjunction with traffic speed data settings to calculate the quickest route to the trip's destination. This feature is a value add when PC Miler traffic is also licensed. And shortest represents distances and driving routes that a vehicle would take to minimize total distance traveled while still following a reasonable route. Practical is a default, and I'm going to leave that selected. The next two fields, the arrival departure and traffic fields, are related to PC Miler's time-based and traffic features, which I'll be speaking to later in the demo, so I'm just going to skip these two fields for now. A trip's origin, stop-off points, and destination are entered in these fields here. I'm going to enter in my origin, and since I also have PC Miler Streets licensed, I'm going to enter in a specific street address. So my origin, I'm going to click Enter to validate my stop. I'll now enter a stop-off point. This time, I'm going to click the Add Stop button to validate my stop. And now I'll enter my destination. Before calculating a route, if you need to define additional routing parameters, by clicking on the gear icon, and selecting options, additional settings are available. Options are grouped in the general, cost, time, stops, vehicle dimensions, road speeds, tolls, and hazmat tabs. Just wanted to note and give a reminder that depending on the features you have licensed, you may or may not have access to or can view all the features that I'm showing to you in this demo. After you made your additional selections for the route, click Save. Additional routing options are also accessible in the Routes ribbon here. You'll notice that a color-coded visual reference in the Routes ribbon helps to identify the selected routing options in your individual route window. If I open a new route window, you'll notice that a new color reference is displayed. These color references are also defined in the map's route legend here. You can collapse route windows from view to keep your focus on one route or several routes. You can also close route windows by selecting the gear icon, then close route. Coming back to my original route, I'm going to select Run to calculate the route. You'll see a summary of route information in the window. The routing type and options are summarized at the top. A time zone of the stop is listed here. And the route's total toll cost, travel time, and mileage are also summarized. 
For more detailed route information, several reports are available, and I'll be speaking about generating a report a little later in the demo. You can define the view of information in the route window by right-clicking in the window and selecting the column chooser, by unchecking a box and selecting OK, it will hide it from view. Going back into the column chooser, by checking a box, we'll return it to view. If you'd prefer the columns to be displayed in a different order, you can click and drag a column to where you'd like it or drag it back. If you right-click on a stop, you'll notice a few features accessible. You can edit a stop. You can move it up or down in the stop list. You can delete the stop. Or you can zoom to the stop on the map. Stops can also be moved using the Roots ribbon then the stop icon is listed here. Additional settings are the reverse stop feature and the delete all stops feature. I'm now going to switch gears and dive deeper into PC Miler's time-based routing features that I had mentioned earlier. PC Miler offers more precise travel time estimates, allowing users to either specify a departure date and time to calculate estimate, estimated time of arrivals at stop-off points, or specify an arrival date and time to calculate estimated time of departures. Time-based features can also use road-specific travel speeds based on historical, typical, or real-time traffic speed data if PC Miler traffic is also licensed and can also calculate toll costs specific to the time of day if PC Miler tolls is also licensed. Since time-based features are optional per route, you need to actively turn them on. Before accessing time-based features, two global route options must first be confirmed, a time zone display option and a time format display option. By going into the File menu, selecting Application Settings, the Time Format option can be chosen here, and the Time Zone can be chosen here. You make your selections and click Save. Once these two options are set, they will be defaulted for every route, so you only have to set them once. Next, I'll show you how to specify a departure date and time for a route. I'm going to first duplicate Route 1 by clicking on my original route window. Then, in the Routes ribbon, to select Duplicate. In the Route 2 window, in the Arrival Departure dropdown, I'm going to select Depart By. Instead of choosing a specific date, I'm going to select a specific day of the week. And I'm going to select 7 a.m. Since I also have PC Miler traffic licensed, I'm going to opt to factor in traffic speed data to enhance the route's travel time calculation by selecting Traffic Enabled in the Traffic dropdown. Then I'm going to run the route. In the Route 2 window, you'll notice some additional route information is provided. You'll see this ETA ETD column now displayed. It offers departure time and arrival time settings at each stop-off point and then the destination. You'll also notice that traffic, that the travel time has increased due to my traffic setting here, when you compare Route 2 to Route 1. Time-based features can also be calculated and factored in when calculating a route's toll costs, if PC Miler tolls is also licensed. Using PC Miler's vehicle dimension settings, 
located here. A vehicle toll costs can be calculated based on a vehicle's weight for less than 9,000 pounds and up to 132,000 pounds, which includes tolls for light vehicles, heavy vehicles, and automobiles or vans. A vehicle's axle count, 2 to 14 axles are provided. A vehicle's trailer count, single or multiple trailers settings are available. Moving to the tolls tab, you can also select a transaction type, cash rate, and discount program rates are, are available, discount program rates such as EasyPass, and time of day travel by selecting a departure or arrival setting. I'll next show you a routing example of toll cost changing based on time settings. Time settings during peak travel hours and non-peak travel hours. I'm going to first close all open routes and then open a new route by going into File, Close All, and making the selection. Opening a new route is simple as clicking the button here. In the Route 1 window, I'll show you a route and its tolls during peak travel hours. Entering my origin, and now my destination. Next, I'm going to set the time-based features to depart at a peak travel time by selecting Depart By a Monday at 5 p.m. Next, I'm going to name the route in the Route Name field by going into Options and naming the field here, and then selecting Save. You'll notice that the new name is listed up at the top of the route window here. I'm now going to click Run to calculate the route and its toll costs. To compare this route's tolls, to off-peak travel hours, I'm going to first duplicate Route 1 by going into the routes, then duplicate. Next, I'm going to name the second route in the route name field. Selecting Save. I'm going to set the time-based features for the second route to depart at a non-peak travel time by selecting the part by non-peak of, let's say, Sunday morning. And I'm going to select Run. To compare these routes, you go to the Routes ribbon, all the way off to the right, select Comparison Report. A Reports tab will open with the report listed here. In a report, you can manually widen a column by clicking on the line between the columns and moving it left or right with your mouse. This helps to bring additional information into view included in the report. Here I'd like to highlight that the time difference and the toll difference for the peak tolls and the non-peak tolls. Another way to compare a route and the effect that a different routing type has on the same route is its, and its stop-off locations is to use PC Miler's least cost routing feature. This feature quickly calculates multiple routes in the same window without having to manually enter in individual routes. By going back to my original route, then to the routes ribbon, then to optimize, and selecting these cost routing. Behind the scenes, PC Miler has generated a series of routes and has highlighted the lowest cost, the lowest values in yellow. You'll see the lowest miles, the quickest travel time, and the lowest toll costs here. 
you can make the selection in the window to replace the route that you initially entered. Or you can click Cancel if you like your original route. Let's talk about reports. Reports can be generated after a route is calculated by going into the gear icon and selecting the route, the report of choice. Reports can also be generated from the routes ribbon by selecting reports. A report will open in the reports window. If you generate multiple reports, they will open in a separate tab within the window. You can easily toggle between generated reports by clicking on the, the title of the report. New print options are now available by selecting the Show Print Preview checkbox. and using the selections here. Let's move to the map. Map options can be found by either right-clicking on the map to see a menu of options. They can also be found by going to the map ribbon. There are multiple map zoom tools including the ability to drag the map using the Drag Map tool. Drag Map works by simply clicking and holding your mouse on the map, then moving your mouse in the direction you want the map to move. You can double-click your mouse on the map to zoom in. You can scroll your mouse wheel down to zoom out or up to zoom in. There's also a box zoom feature that also zooms in. Traffic speed data can also be viewed on the map if PC Miler traffic is also licensed. First, Turn on the Traffic Map Legend on the Map Ribbon here. Zooming out my map to show a bit more detail. Next, I'm going to choose the Show Traffic icon here. It will open the Traffic Display dialog. You can set a visual representation of historical, real-time, and typical traffic trends, as well as road speeds, directly on the map. Historical traffic speeds can be displayed by dialing up a specific day and time, then using the slide bar to see that specific traffic pattern at that specific time and that specific day. Traffic can be turned off in the Traffic Display dialog by selecting Off. Using the Traffic Map Legend as an example, any legend can be moved around on the map to where you'd like it. Legends can be turned off by going back into the Legend dropdown and unchecking it. On the map, you also have the option of choosing from a selection of map styles that displays data differently. In the map ribbon, select map style and choose from the selections provided. These are standard features and are accessible to all PC Miler interactive users. If you have an internet connection, by selecting satellite map view and zooming your map in, You'll also be able to see a satellite map layer underneath the road network. Behind the scenes, PC Miler is reaching out to a third-party data, data uh, vendor's web servers to request a satellite map image to be displayed.
coming back to our default math style. By going to the map ribbon and selecting map features, it allows you to turn map features on or off by marking or unmarking a checkbox. You can also use the right mouse map, map menu to get back into map features to return those selections to, this, to the display. Also on the map, a root line can be dragged to use your roads of choice by selecting drag route. I'm going to first zoom the map to frame root 2 by going to frame, then selecting my route 2. Using route 2 as an example, in the roots menu, I'm going to select drag route. Then on the map, I'm going to click and hold my mouse over the route line. I'm going to wait for a green line to appear. Then I'm going to move my mouse to use an adjacent road. You will notice that in the root window, a new waypoint has been added to the stop list, and the route has recalculated. To turn off the drag route feature, simply go back and uncheck and, un and, and unselect the drag route icon. For users who may be familiar with PC Miler's older styled menu options or would like to see a list of available shortcuts I had mentioned at the beginning of the demo, a feature reference guide is available to help guide you through finding the new locations of features. This guide is available in a PDF file within your install by going to the Start, All Programs, PC Miler 27, then the User's Guide folder, then selecting the Feature Reference Guide file. You'll see the location of where features are in PC Miler 26 and now where they are in PC Miler 27. Keyboard shortcuts are listed in the furthest right-hand column. This concludes the demo portion of the webinar. Be on the lookout for an announcement on our tutorial webinar series where we plan to dive deeper into select PC Miler features and functionality. For those who would like a copy of the presentation, after the webinar, you will receive an email with a link to view the presentation. Please send us an email at sales at ALK.com if you have any questions. Thank you for joining us today.